Hello and welcome. So in this quick and dirty video, I want to quickly show you how you can analyze the live cryptocurrency market with Python and get EG a price chart like this. So this is the price development over the last 15 minutes of the 50 largest cryptocurrencies traded on Binance. Okay, so let's start with the first script. This script is pulling live prices from Binance and is writing them into a SQLite database. I've covered that in one of my previous videos, which I will link in the video description. Anyhow, let's quickly go over that together again. So this is just importing some libraries. So this library is pulling the prices from Binance. We need pandas for data handling and we need SQL Alchemy to create and populate a SQLite database. This list is containing the top 50 considering market cap cryptocurrencies and I've filtered out the stable coins. I will just link this list in the video description. This is using the unicorn library and is creating a stream, pulling K-line data on the one minute time frame for all of those symbols. This function then is doing some data transformations and is wrapping the data into a data frame which is then written to the SQLite database, but it is only writing data into the SQLite database when the K-line is closed. So we are only writing in closed candles here. The tables in the database have the name of the symbols, right? So for the Bitcoin would be BTC, USDT as the table name. And finally, this loop is just pulling data from the stream and then is calling the SQL import function to write the data to the SQLite database. With starting the loop, we are creating a database file and we are using it in the next script to do the analysis. Okay, so let's move on to the second script. Just as a reminder, you have to make sure that the while loop from the first script is still running. Now, as you see, we need some libraries again, pandas for data handling and SQL Alchemy to connect to the just created live price database, a SQLite database. Now, first of all, we need to pull the symbols in the database and we are just defining that as we did in the first script. And we are using pandas read SQL function for that and just reading out the table names. So we are using a SQLite specific syntax here, select name from SQLite schema where type equals table. You don't have to understand that. This is just pulling all available table names from a certain database. And we are just providing our engine, which is the live price database here. With that, we are getting our symbols in a data frame and we are just transforming that to a list here. So I'm using name, which is the column name to list here and with that we have a list of the symbols you saw before right now we are just pulling the tables for all those symbols right so how can we do that we are using pd read sql and provide a certain table name so for example bitcoin usdt and provide the engine. And with that, we are getting the close prices for the last, however long the script is running until now, in my case, two minutes. So this is the close time of the candle and this is the close price. Now we are using this to pull the price tables for all those symbols. So we are creating an empty list here and then loop over those symbols for symbol in symbols and pull the tables for every symbol here. So read SQL then symbol and provide the engine. And then we are doing some data manipulations here. So first of all, we are setting the index to the close time of the can candle. So we are setting the index to k-line close time and then we are only interested in the close price column here so we are just taking the close price 
and we are naming this series just as the, the coin name, right? So we are just taking the F name is equal to the provided symbol. And then we are transforming this Unix formatted timestamp into a human readable timestamp. So we're using PD to daytime, provide the index and set the unit to MS here. And then we are just appending that series to this list here. So we are using the Fs append df here and with that we are creating a list of data frames here so i don't know why that is empty uh, let me quickly pull the symbols again maybe this was empty because i just recreated the database so this should work now yeah, now you see we have uh, we have the tables for all symbols here, right? So let's wrap them all together in the data frame so we can do some nice analysis, just calling that frame. And now use PD Concat on the uh, data frames list here, set the axes to one. And with that, I have this beautiful data frame containing the time series for all 50 coins here. All right. And with that, I'm, I can do some analysis here, right? So first of all, I can create a return frame and calculate the return instead of the absolute prices here. So I can just use PT, PCT change and getting the return frame. And with that, I can calculate the cumulative returns so let's call that cumrat take the returns at a one and take the cumulative product here and subtract the one and with that i'm getting the cumulative returns right so for example the bitcoin was slightly rising over the last four minutes here okay now let's plot. So we can plot that and then you're getting the plot as I have shown in the very beginning. So if I pl I'm plotting that, I'm getting a plot like this here, right? So better to amend the figure size here. And then you will see a plot like this. So this will look yeah, better with more time passing, right? So of course you have to pull new data so we just execute this cell again and you have new data so you see now you have six rows and in some minutes you have more rows calculate the returns again and then plot it and looks a bit better now right and yeah let's do some more analysis so first of all let's actually find out which is this coin here so the uh, the the best performing coin and the worst performing coin. So we can just take the cumulative return screen for the very last row here. So the very last row again is containing the cumulative return in the most recent time step here, right? So this is how much the asset was rising over the last six minutes. So we are just taking this row here taking this row and just screen for the five largest values. And then you'll see Solana is this one here. And for the smallest, we can just use N smallest and see that I don't, I don't even know what coin that is, is the least performing coin here. So this line here. All right. And yeah, you can do way more. You can take a look at volatilities. Um, the possibilities are basically endless, but I hope this was interesting for you. Let's do one more update to this uh, graph here. So just execute this cell again or wrap it into a function better and call the function again. 
a lot of improvement potential here. Now we have eight rows. Calculate new stuff again and then plot again. And now you see, yeah, you can actually see some movements here, right? So this one is actually having a comeback here, right? And yeah, so I hope this was interesting, insightful for you. And yeah, be invited to play a bit around with that. And I thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye bye.